Hey there, YouTubers. It's Chris here. Uh, I just wanted to bring you a sort of a, a workbench update, what I've been working on. Um, just a quick project. Uh, I bought a diecast kit on the cheap, uh, probably a year or two ago, and it was a, it's a charger. RT charger, but it's it's got like a Viper engine in it or something. It's sort of bigger slicks at the back, smaller ones at the front. Um, and it was just poorly painted. It looked crap, basically. So I've always wanted to just, uh, you know, redo it. Strip it back and, and repaint it sort of thing. Um, so that's what I've done. And this is just all the parts that, uh, you know, just sort of pulled apart and repainted everything. There's uh, the seats. Like I said, just a quick project. Uh, here's the engine. Well, <laughs> if you can call that an engine, it's just the top half of it. And, uh, well, it's supposed to be a Viper engine. Well, it says they're V10. But uh, there's only eight cylinders. So I've wired it. Wired it up, basically. Just, just to create a bit of interest. But, uh, yeah, there's only eight. So I'm guessing the other two must be behind the firewall or something. <laughs> you can't really see it. But anyway. Um... Yeah, there's that. There's the the front and rear bumpers there, and the grill. Uh, there's the dash. There's a tacko on there, and uh, don't know what that's supposed to be. Probably well, a GPS or or maybe a computer system for the Viper engine. Who knows? There's the door panels. You know, like I said, just a quick build. Well, not really a build. Don't want to happen there, but yeah, just a quick re. Uh, um, yeah, I'll get it out in a second. A re repaint, redo of some sort. Um, there's the body. Oh, the body. The um, the chassis. And yeah, you know, obviously everything's molded in. It's got big ass screws there for putting it all together. And, well, there you go, you can see it there. It's a Maisto. Maisto, that's the company that makes this particular thing. Made in China, of course. And it's a 125th scale. I'm not going to bother shaving all that off. Like I said, it's just a quick quick thing. Just paint it up, you know, just all the detail. Just to make it look interesting. I scuffed the wheels. Black wash the wheels. I don't know. Quick project. Um, the body itself, <coughs> I painted it in black. I was going to go with, uh, well, it was it was like a dull orange, which looked crap, but I wanted to respray it bright orange. Um, yeah, and I was going to try some graphics on it, but for the moment, what I'm think I'm going to do is just well. You can sort of see the shine on it, but there you go. here's my light. Maybe you can see my me in the camera. Hello. Yeah, yeah, it's got a pretty good shine. Got a little bit of dust in there. I might be able to sand it out. Well, I might just leave it. Like I said, it's supposed to be a low stress, quick build. Get it over with. Put it on the shelf. Um. Now the funny thing is the trunk opens on this, but um. <laughs> The very first day I got it, I opened the trunk and it just broke. Um, it just from the manufacturer, it was like sealed shut. There's the, well, there's the trunk there and the two doors. But yeah, what I may do is uh, put some, might put some decals, might make some decals for it. I was thinking either that torn, torn metal look, or maybe like. Um, sort of faded skulls or something or, or maybe a torn torn metal with skulls behind it I reckon it'll look cool but I don't know like I said it's gloss black for now I'll put it all together and see what happens the only other thing I'm going to do is probably make a roll cage for the back and maybe come forward something like that and really that'll be the only thing that I scrap built <laughs> for this the rest of it's just what I come with and there's the other part here, which is you just got the glass. 
which ain't too bad. I might just polish them up. And that's it. Alright, I'll be back in a, well, for you guys, we'll be back in a second, but yeah, I'll basically put it all together. Um, not really going to do much detail painting on the body itself. I might just do the, um, like the handles, I might paint them some like an aluminium colour. Obviously, I've got to do the mirrors, but um, as far as the, well, there's not really much to paint on here, I guess. I'm not going to do the moulding around the windows. I'm going to keep them black. Because that would be bare metal foil, but yeah, no, I'll just keep them black, I think. I think it'll look meaner and less work. <laughs> uh, the underside of the hood, I'll probably put some, um, what do you call it, like sort of some sort of material in there to make it look like the heat shielding, whatever it is. Um, and yeah, that's it. Alright, I'll let you go. I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm back. I've got it all uh, put together, assembled. Uh, there's not much to it really. I mean, like I said, it's fairly simple, fairly quick build. It's just a repaint. Come out fairly glossy. Spin it around. I haven't got my little turntable here at the moment. Because it's die cast, so the doors open and stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Not much to, to really show. It's the engine. 